You're listening to the Jim Mint Podcast by GFNF. Your weekly breakdown of sports cards, hobby news, and everything in between. And everything in between. Here's your hosts, Jake and Nico. Yo, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to Jim Mint by GFNF. It is uh, Thursday. We're a little day late, but for good reason. Uh, September 1st, or so we're officially in September, and this is episode 31. Uh, got Jake here as always. Uh, what's good, bro? Going on, yeah. Definitely a good reason to be late today. Yeah, yeah. We, it, I mean, we had a couple different reasons, but um, <laughs> yeah, we used cards as an excuse to uh, just push it back a little bit and, and wait to talk about some other stuff. So um, yeah, let's hop into it. As always, start with the uh, the retail. Um, so no target this week as expected. Um, everyone's just kind of getting their shipments in. Um, I think most of mine came, actually I have one more order coming in was delayed because of machine. Like you ever see that on, on a UPS where it's like machine failure or something has like delayed oh. your order. Yeah. What's it's like, it's like something, let me read you the exact, um, the exact like notification. Yeah. It's, it's just, machine. Yeah, it says delay, and then you click on it and look at the tracking. This is kind of weird, though. So it says a, mecha- a mechanical failure has delayed delivery. But I got two notifications. One's like my local um, location, and then the other one says it's in back in Hodgkins, Illinois. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe those are going to just be an L. I feel like they're going to show up like pancakes uh, at this point. I'll so, scoop them. Yeah. yeah. Can you kind of grab those for me? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think everyone's getting their megas in. Uh, they're loaded from what we've seen, from what you've opened. Um, yeah. You've had really good luck with them, and, and they just seem like they're um, yeah poised to do really well, uh, even in the short term, um, and especially in the long term. I, I, think, I think they're better than Prism at this point, uh, just based yeah. on the checklist size um, and what you can hit. I mean, everyone's either pulling a numbered card, a short print, like one of the like emoji... Or purple velocity, which are kind of sick. Are those new? Yeah, yeah, Pur- purple they are. velocity. They're good. Yeah, they're good looking too. Yeah, I like those. I know the pink velocity and hobby, but um, I kind of, I kind of really like the purples. Um, downtowns. But, yeah, downtowns. Uh, numbered mem cards. Uh, the autos. Um, if you're, you know, as lucky as me, you pull 150 panini points that are useless. Um, yeah, so they're uh, they're pretty good. Um, but yeah, we'll probably I would think see a couple more drops of those, maybe at least one more, maybe two, um, at least on target. But it seems like select seems to be um, at least kind of uh, showing up, and we'll touch on that in a little bit. Um, so that's probably sooner rather than later there uh, for the last kind of big football retail product for uh, this quarterback class. Um, yeah, yeah, and then for uh, no, go ahead. I'm hoping we get one more mega drop. I would. I think we would. Yeah, it can't be one and done. No, it'll at least be, a, I think, a decent size of, uh, you know, stock. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And then uh, Walmart. So we kind of pushed back because we're like, oh, let's, you know, we had some stuff going on. Let's wait for Walmart Wednesday, and then we could talk about it on Thursday. Well, Tuesday, we're all just kind of hanging out, and out of nowhere, Walmart loads. Well, we saw optic hangers. You know, the page was up. Uh, on Monday, so like, oh, Wednesday, boom. Uh, well, they went live on Tuesday night, which ended up being an accident. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I ended up checking out 470 hangers. Um, Wild. Yeah, and after their usual cancels, I still had like three 380 or so sticking. Um, but then they went in and um, cancel requested every order. Almost every order. I would say 90% of people's orders. Um, well, for me, it was like 98. I had two out of 115 orders actually ship. Um, so it was obviously a mistake. It was 12 quantity. Uh, if you were sitting at your computer and had a bot open, um, there was no PX or anything. It was just legitimately instant checkouts. Um, wow. Yeah. So a little unfortunate there, I guess, on my, my end. Fortunate for people that um weren't ready or or like weren't at their computer um which brought us to yesterday night so uh we we weren't rooting against you but we definitely you know i i I needed to see some hangers yeah now i know um but yeah so we saw the normal wednesday drop 
last night. Blasters, hangers, uh, megas. I don't think cellos dropped. Um, nope. So, unfortunately, I mean, everyone did pretty decent. Um, but not, like, even if I had gotten my 380 and split it between, you know, a couple a couple of us, uh, we would have been better off there than <laughs> we were last night. Mm-hmm. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, which kind of, like... Jump ahead a little bit to like some of the botting stuff. Um, we've been running this new bot. Well, that's not, I don't know if it's exactly super new, but um, Refract. It's mm-hmm. kind of been, I would say, it seems to be the lead bot on Walmart. Um, not a ton of users running. I think I want to say only like 100 or so. Uh, so there's not a lot of people running it. Uh, but it does really well on initial stock, uh, carding and stuff like that. And that's kind of the name of the game with Walmart is try to cart as many as you can so when those waves come in uh you, you know you're placing order and it goes through um right. so we um we still we still love haya and lickety shout out to him mm-hmm. but um yeah it looks like i have some options so yeah yeah no it's not hurting to have you know you're yeah. towing a couple different pools yeah and ksr apparently uh absolutely shredded last night too so um Crazy. brian seems to be uh I don't know if it was just the you know the PX was so high at the start of the drop that like you couldn't do anything like you couldn't right. literally do and like not even the bots could could get through. Um, they ended up lowering PX and uh, then you know was able to push through. But yeah, KSR apparently um, was doing pretty well also. So nice to have a little competition there. But uh, yeah, we'll be on the lookout for probably another drop of the same stuff uh, next week. Um, and then a uh, nice Montgomery club drop today, Bundesliga Sapphire, um, $99. So shockingly, they're not like, I think that's cheaper than last year's, no? Like, yeah, I think it was 150 last year, wasn't it? I, I think at least 150 or 200. I mean, we can ask Garrett because he ordered a pallet worth. Um, but yeah, I, I mean... 99 bucks isn't terrible. I don't know Bundesliga that well, aside from, like, Halan, who's not even in Bundesliga anymore. So, um, I don't know. I Maybe I'll buy it. I'm probably going to pass on this one. I don't know if you bought yours or not. I did. I, I just I have a hard time. I've been burned by not buying my allotment of Montgomery stuff. I figured, worst case scenario, I'll just stick it in the basement and forget about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'll probably buy it. Is it one limit? It is one limit. It's like, yeah. but... You know, can't when you really go wrong for a hundred bucks. I mean, worst case scenario, we take one on the chin, but that's true. It's you know, that's name true. one sapphire product we can get cheaper than that. Yeah, that's true. There's gotta okay. be someone there that wants it. I'm convinced. Thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, in store, so Barnes and Noble again is the first uh, store to get select football. So they got optic first. Um, so blasters are showing up. So probably two weeks. Three weeks. I think two more drops on target before we see it. Um, so going to be a little bit, but uh, yeah. So the the these are the target versions. These have the was it the green and yellow um, parallels in it, and then uh, yeah yeah the target ones yeah the I okay. think do we know the, the same ones? I haven't seen the, what's the first ones that popped up on Facebook. I don't even remember. Oh, the card giants ones. Uh purple maybe i honestly forget i don't think it was green and yellow though so uh, yeah it's it, was, whatever it was something different be. um and then i did see people were getting the uh hanger packs in uh from that site as well so um those have the yeah. gold a lot of die cuts in select uh which are a kind of a bitch to grade um yeah you know a lot of edge yeah the concourse is like it's all edge like there's a million edges on it, so yep. I can only imagine how some of those are going to come out of the pack. Probably, I think I pulled one last year that was like peeling. Um, yeah, it's got that like <laughs> double pointy bottom, like almost like a stand. Yeah, it came out of the pack looking like an onion, like it's just peeling layers <laughs> off it. Um, Terrible. But yeah, I think a lot of people are excited for select football retail um, because Hobby is still sitting on Panini's website. Uh, they yeah. tweeted about it today, and people were just like. Well, yeah, no shit. You 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 put it up for double the price of what you should have. Um, Would have thunk it. Yeah. Why Why are you surprised that it's sitting? If they had If they had any any sort of, um, I guess, respect for people that are buying their stuff, they would put a price before first off the line auctions happen. 
Um, right. Because, it, I mean, I, I could kind of understand why they don't because it would kind of set the market already for the Dutch auction. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, do you think they should put Hobby at the floor, whatever their floor price is of the first off the line? I mean, they can't put it in the middle. That would make no sense. But I feel like yeah, if they I, put it at the floor, you know. I would think I would think that at the very minimum, the very minimum, it should be at the floor. Yeah, I mean, even if they bump the floor up a little bit, I think even a thousand dollars for select hobby would have been reasonable. Fifteen twenty-five, like they had to get that extra twenty-five bucks in there. Like, yeah. Seriously. Um, yep. Yeah. They so, deserve to have it just sit there. <laughs> yeah, they seriously do. So. Um, yeah, I think that's why a lot of people are looking forward to retail, and it also looks like they're pretty loaded with numbered hits. Uh, from what I've seen, at least each box has had uh, – each blaster has had a numbered hit in it. So uh, that's that's good to see. Um, yeah, I think that's it on the on the retail side of things. You got anything else? No, I think that's it. Sweet. All right, let's uh, hop into some hobby news. Um, the We talked about this oh – God, I don't even know what episode it was. Uh, the final Brady touchdown ball – that went oh, on yeah. auction and then <laughs> sold, and then he announced that he was coming back. Um, it is now back on auction. Uh, is it? Is it currently? It's it's on sale right now. Yeah. I mean, what does it yep. go for? What do you think? I don't know. Less than I would think less than a hundred k. Do you remember off the top of your head what it sold for last time? No, but I can find that out, I think. I mean, it had to be a lot of money. I I just can't remember off the top of my head what the hell that dude paid. Um, it was insane. It was bad enough where... Oh, here it is. Half 518K. A mil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Half a mil. So, uh, that's a lot of money. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to touch that now. Um, no way. So, unless he legitimately... Wow, imagine how shitty that'd be, though, like, if he actually... Because you know how he's been like out of preseason and stuff, right? Imagine he's just like, he's like yeah, I, I like I need to retire again. He's looking <laughs> rough, dude. When he came back from that sickness, you're like, whoa! And this dude gave back the ball. Now it goes for like a million. Yeah, that'd be pretty Insane. shitty, but um, <laughs> Insane. yeah. So, but yeah, we'll we'll track that and see see where that ends at this time. Um, one we've been talking about for a uh, few episodes now. Uh, uh, Heritage Auctions uh, sets multiple records in $39 million auction, uh, headlined, of course, by the SGC 9552 Mantle that sold for a record $12.6 million. Um, I hope that keeps Ken Golden up at night. Um, yeah, he'll fake a sale to try to beat it. Oh, yeah. For, I'm honestly shocked that it didn't happen the day that this auction ended. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought for sure it was. Um, <laughs> guy Jesus. sell guy sells PSA 10 52 mantle to himself for 12.7 million. Um, something as ridiculous as that. Um, Beckett announces the start of the Beckett Vault, so it offers storage and climate control. Uh, you know, vault 24 seven security. Um, so what number of vault is this? That's that's out there, like 20 or a billion. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's got one. I got one. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> We're all um, doing vaults. Yeah, so they have their vault. I don't know who the hell's vaulting with Beckett. I just I don't see what they. I, I don't know what they can offer uh, that the other guys aren't. So they barely grade any cards left, so they got to be doing something with their time. That's true. That's very true. Um, so yeah, we'll see if that goes anywhere. I mean, it probably doesn't. It doesn't. I don't think it hurts them um, at all. Right. So I guess it kind of just makes sense to just do it at this point. Um, tops. These rocks. So we talked about Finest last week, right? Um, yep. So sure did. they sent private purchase links to the people whose orders they canceled, you know, from the 5A2 Montgomery Club. Yep. Um, at first they didn't work because they had that issue where you had already purchased it and they had quantity limits of one. So if you've already purchased it, their site inherently didn't let you um, – purchase another box so yeah it was so dumb <laughs> like it did, i don't know just it's... keep <laughs> yeah do you think someone's got a back i mean someone's got to have back end something this keeps happening and those rocks over there you would think that like with all the money they're pulling in 
they'd be able to hire someone that can figure something out with their website. I'm glad they can't because we insane. still get to hit it once in a while. But it's literally insane. When you uh, start invading on Montgomery turf, then, then you know then we got. Them. Yeah, no, you come for the five eight two. The five eight two is going to come for you. That's just yeah, that's just how it works. <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't mess around. Um, wow. So yeah, and then it did go public as well. Um, three quantity. I don't know anyone's three quantity that shipped. I, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone that shipped. I know the ship date is like the eighth to the fourteenth, so they got time. Um, but I think prices, honestly, after uh, some people were bricking it on eBay, uh, I'm not going to mm-hmm. call anyone out specifically. Um, I think the prices have kind of bounced back. I want to say the floor might be like 270 or so. So, I mean, if you ordered, um, you know, with the coupon, uh, 10% off, I think you were in for like 190 a box. So not bad. Uh, and they have good long term potential. Um, You've got to be like a schmo, dude, like a Joe schmo to brick these. Oh, product. yeah. Yeah, that's dude. It's hundred percent a Joe Schmo move. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, he's definitely not pushing any P. Um, yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, uh, Panini <laughs> hires. Um, <laughs> ah, uh, I can't. tried to get. No, nope, you're not <laughs> gonna get me. <laughs> Panini hired someone to, re- to place one on one sticker autos for select. I Helen assume. Keller, yeah. yeah, is it the Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, I just that's sent a, it to the DM. Right? Yeah, that, that's upside down. There's two of them, dude. Both one on one. Two. Yeah, backyard breaks pulled the the shield patch one on one upside down sticker auto, and then another breaking company Is that Jaspie? pulled the laundry Jaspie tank. breaks. Yeah, Jaspies. Yep. I just recognized that because they literally just used the bag that they that I got at their stand at the national, and I was like, I kind of recognize those blue palm trees. Yeah, um, it's uh, so brutal. Why you think someone just has it out for Aaron Rodgers? I don't know. Either that I or, mean, or... I would look into who put those stickers on it. I would bet my money that it's a Cowboys fan because I would do the be. same shit. <laughs> Gotta be. Because some of his other autos and stuff, you know, out of select that I've seen are fine. The sticker autos are, are totally fine. Yeah. That's but... pretty, that's funny that it's just two. I didn't. I saw the one. I didn't know there was two, but that's, that's yeah. pretty damn funny. Both the one and one. It's insane. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, PWCC poor market. A-Rod. Yeah. Poor A-Rod. Yeah. Poor A-Rod. Sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> PWCC Marketplace partnership with CSG uh, boasts the highest sale ever for an MJ rookie sticker uh, that they graded, uh, CSG graded. Um, yeah, nine K in a CSG nine five. Yeah, which is not which is not the highest sale ever of the sticker. It's just funny that they boasted it's the highest sale ever for a CSG graded sticker. It's like, well, okay, yeah, it's because it's the second highest grade you can get. Like, yeah, what um, if what I is the highest you, sale if I, for that sticker? <laughs> I think it's I think it's twenty five grand in a ten, and that was during twenty twenty. Interesting, um, but it's like you know that bra- bragging about that is like if I you know if I sold you a, a Nico Collins base card for <laughs> two bucks and I say this, well that's the highest that's the highest sale ever from me selling to you a Nico <laughs> Collins card. So, yeah, okay, that's something you brag about, but yeah. whatever. That's funny. <laughs> uh, collector sends a vintage Fred Young, the uh, linebacker. For the Seahawks, uh, for autograph and gets autograph photocopy back. That's... Yeah, did you see that story? No, I didn't, but that's hilarious. Dude, he kept his own card. He photocopied, he literally <laughs> photocopied it, cut it out, and signed it and sent it back. Oh my God. Like, not even on cardstock either. It was like it's printer like, paper. Just a like nice there. eight and a half by 11 printer paper. <laughs> God, unbelievable. That's amazing. Um, this one's pretty big uh, for for a lot of reasons. Mbappe, uh, he signed an exclusive autograph deal with Panini. So this comes after the massive ten thousand uh, well, dollar, well, was like twelve thousand US um, uh-huh. PSG box set. You know, limited to two hundred and seventy sets. Um, yep. That tops dropped first licensed Mbappe auto. You know, I mean, they were flipping for almost twenty thousand. Uh, you know, they were, people were breaking them for 18. Um, so yeah, this is huge because this is going to kill, I think honestly hurt those, those autos one, because those cards were absolutely trashed. The first one that was graded was a seven with an eight auto. Um, Ooh. yeah. From PSA. Uh, th- yeah, the cards are absolutely garbage. Um, they did not do a good job with it, honestly. Some people might disagree and say it's going to hold up in value. It's still the first, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I think these – so 
Obviously, the big thing is the National Treasures World uh, Road to World Cup. That's going to be a huge set. I mean, yeah. those Mbappe autos are going to do numbers. Like, serious, yeah. serious numbers. Um, and then you have the PSG. What are the boxes going to run, though? Insane oh, amount. Oh, wow, uh, dude. France in a in a box break is going to be so much money. It might be half the case. <laughs> like, it's going to be so much. Yeah. Um uh, yeah, and then they also dropped. I mean, Tops also dropped those PSG team sets, like the little hanger boxes. Those were flipping actually pretty well, almost a two X. Um, those were taking a hit too. Although the um, the red Mbappe at a five, you know, sticker auto, it did sell for twenty seven thousand dollars on eBay. It was paid for. Um, so, I mean, that helps. But, and that was after the national the um, Panini deal announcement too. So, right, pretty crazy though. Um, yeah, but yeah, that, yeah, that should definitely have an impact on on the market, um, on his market for sure. So we'll see. World Cup is pretty yeah. soon. So um, yeah, we touched on this a little bit before, but Select Football remains uh, on Panini's website. Obviously, too overpriced. Um, what do we have left for uh, this year's football products? I don't think anything really. I mean, like Luminance select- just dropped. But that's like yeah, a, but that's that's 2022. Oh, is that 22? Yeah, hmm. yeah, that's like the that's the start of you know 2022 score is already loaded on Panini's yeah. website. So okay, I it'd guess... be nice. It, it'd be nice if they used basically November through, or yeah, November through uh, maybe like February, which is slow time anyway. Um, use that and burn through that crap class. Yeah. And then they can start producing 23 stuff right after the draft in April. That's true. That's true. I yeah. If they're smart, that's what they would do because that the 2022, I mean, think about all the hobby and first off the line and stuff like that, that they sell out every time, or at least pretend they sell out every time. You know, you, th- you think select sitting on the website at 1500 is bad. <laughs> now imagine it's sitting on the site. That shit's going to sit on the site at 600 next year. Yeah, it's not gonna it's not gonna be pretty. I mean, the only thing select select has going for it is XRCs. So yeah. that's even though the like the cord like the QBs and stuff are gonna be, you know, pretty mid. Um, you know, we're you still got those XRCs to at least chase. So, but that's true. Regardless, uh, yeah, that's gonna be uh, unless one of these quarterbacks really. Um, and I think Pickett is honestly the only one this year that is poised to be able to do anything. Um, yeah. unless like Tannehill gets hurt, um, uh, you know, who's the quarterback? Who's quarterbacking Atlanta right now? I'm drawing a blank. Well, La- Mariota, isn't it? Is it? I think it's Marcus Mariota. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So maybe Desmond Ritter will also, uh, get a I chance. I think, to... uh, is it really Marcus Mariota? I'm fairly certain. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost positive. It's Marcus Oh, it Mariota. is. Bro, they're going to win two games. Maybe. Yeah. That's bad. There's two things that are for certain. Marcus Mariota is trash, and Select is sitting on the site with next year's Select. They're going to be sitting right by each other. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to they're gonna have to put one of those Walmart clearance stickers on the, on the box. To get rid of those. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, sorry to the Falcons fans. That sucks. Uh, Brutal. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, yep. Uh, let's yeah. So speaking of uh, kind of this year and how it's gonna go, we um, let's finish off our fantasy football preview with some oh, tight ends, yeah. kickers, defense, and uh, maybe run through our starting lineups on our teams yeah. uh, in the GF and F league we just drafted. Um, yeah. So tight ends, uh, obviously top ten. You got Mark Andrews, Kelsey, Pitts, uh, Darren Waller, Kittle, Dalton Schultz, <laughs> T.J. Hawkinson. Dallas Goddard, Ertz, and uh, Patty Fryermuth. Um, I mean, who do you like there? Who's outside the top ten that you? Uh, I mean, I'm under the impression that if you don't get Kelsey Pitts or Kittle, or or Wall, one of those four, you don't um, like Andrews. I do like Andrews, but not not towards the top. Like I think that the fact that ESPN has him as the number one is insane. But if you're outside those top four or five. If you're taking a tight end before the, I don't know, eighth, ninth round, it's insane. But my favorite out of all those probably is, even though we're just giving Mariota shit, it's probably Kyle Pitts. I love Darren Waller, too. 
Um, obviously, yeah. Kelsey is always a stud, but I, Kyle Pitts being so young and he's already at the – he reminds me – who is the other dominant uh, Falcons tight end? Uh, Tony G? Tony Gonzalez, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's um, – he yeah, he's a wide receiver in a tight end's body, Kyle Pitts. Yeah. He's yeah. uh yeah he's he's a beast. Um, uh, um, for me in the top ten, if I wasn't getting one of those guys, um, I'm a big T.J. Hawkinson truther. I really yeah. like him. Um, I think I say gosh. Yeah, I do too. But he Hawkinson was pretty consistent. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I didn't mind him. Uh, outside the top ten, give me a little Mike Gesicki. Um, give me a I, little Cole Komet, bro. You want Cole Komet? I like I like. Gasicki or Dawson Knox a little more than Cole Komet. Yeah, hard um, to hate that Buffalo offense. Yeah, you need a little, you need at least some exposure to that offense for sure. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, tight end's not too too bad if you don't like wasting an early round pick. There's a couple guys um, mm-hmm. that you can you can kind of go after. Uh, defense wise, um, Bills, Packers, Saints, Bucks, Ravens, Niners, Cowboys, Colts, Steelers, Dolphins. Um, I don't know. Where, where are you at on that? I mean, for me, the defense I, doesn't matter as much if, you know, they're yeah. the top five to seven are about the same. You know what's funny, though? Um, one of our members and, and my buddy Hollywood, he did one year, he uh, I, he drafted some random defense pick, but he ended up picking up whatever defense was playing the Detroit Lions. And he ended up, he ended up winning the league that year. Oh it just, you know, I used to do stuff I'll, like that, too. Dude, all you had to do is just pick whoever's <laughs> playing the worst offensive team because you know you're going to get some bonus points just by the if, if your league has the point system based on the amount of points given up. Yeah. yeah. I The thing with – well, at least we just changed our settings in my home league, but like one of the big things with uh, defense is that's always killer, at least with ESPN points, is the yardage. Yardage always yeah. is like – it's just super, super um, big yeah. dagger. We turned um, that off, I think, in the GFNF league. Yeah, I think we copied my home league settings just to kind of make it not as bad. Um, yeah. And then kickers, we actually don't do kicker in my home league. Um, but anyone outside of Justin Tucker is, uh, yeah. is useless. But here's the <laughs> thing. I like the idea, and I've, I've used this strategy before. I know some people that have. You know, if you're, if you're taking – by the time you get to where you would take a kicker, even a couple rounds prior to where you would take a kicker, let's talk like the 8th, ninth, 10th round – are you really drafting someone in the eighth, ninth, or tenth round that's going to put up more points than Justin Tucker does? Because at that point, Literally. you're buying points, right? Like yeah. you're, you're trying yeah. to fill points on your team. It doesn't really matter where they come from. Yep, true. So, uh, he puts up a ton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not a big. Uh, I, I can care less about the kicker position. McKay oh. stole him from me. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, let's um, go ahead. Run through your starting lineup in the GFNF league. Okay. Um, I had the second overall pick, so I, as much as I am nervous to, I end up going with Christian McCaffrey. So I'll go down the line. I got Justin Herbert, starting quarterback, love the Chargers offense. Uh, McCaffrey, Josh Jacobs at running back. Don't love Jacobs, but with the top guys like Herbert and McCaffrey, that's who was left. Um, Keenan Allen to get some double up points from Herbert and CeeDee Lamb, your guy at wide receiver. Dallas Goddard at tight end, again, for next ones doesn't really matter um alan lazard at the flex just because aaron Rodgers has to throw the ball to somebody um saints defense who i really like and then matt gay at kicker and then nice. on the bench got some little chuba chuba hubbard to back up christian mccaffrey you know i got a marquise Valdez scantling in kansas city i like a lot and melvin gordon backup running back so not bad yeah, definitely solid. I think everyone seems pretty solid except Aces. Um, yeah, Aces is terrible. Yeah, Aces is pretty rough. Um, yeah, I'll run through mine. So I went with um, Broncos Country, Let's Ride. Russell Wilson at quarterback. Let's uh, ride. Let's ride. <laughs> uh, Dalvin Cook and A.J. Dillon at running back. Um, Tyreek and Cortland Sutton, wide receiver. Uh, shitting on Marcus Mariota, but I have Kyle Pitts at tight end. Uh <laughs> Allen Robinson at at the uh, flex, and then the Colts defense and Greg Joseph uh, for kicker. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I kind of have a lot of exposure I, to the Vikings. I'm not gonna lie, I got I Kirk like on your, the bench too. I was you, I was gonna pick him on the way back through. I'm surprised he went that early, but you snagged him. DeAndre Hopkins, 
yeah. is literally a first round draft pick that's going to be back at some point. You know, it's he's out six games, I think, right? Suspended. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I took him. I I think a little early, but I was I figured, and I know uh, Triple G said he was going to take him next if I hadn't. Um, I think I took him. I actually don't remember what round I took him in, but I definitely took him a little early, but he was starting to come up on the ESPN rankings. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'm just going to pull the trigger. And, uh, I feel pretty good at wide receiver anyway. So it might be trade bait. Um, you know, come time, or, you know? Yeah. I mean, so I'm pretty happy. Uh, receiver, eighth, so. round, eighth round. You got him in the eighth round. Yeah. Probably a so, little early, but I mean, it's 12 team or so. Yeah. I, I think eighth, I mean, I would have definitely taken him in the, with the ninth pick because it was coming back towards me. Um, yeah, I did. It's a top wide receiver that you, you got to survive six weeks. Yeah. I think but I'll be okay hour, at receiver yeah. for six weeks. So, I mean, I'm definitely winning the league, but it's, it'll be a good fight. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. If we all put everyone on our bench each week, you could definitely take it home. Definitely. So. definitely. You know, who's not taking it home ace. <laughs> no, there's no chance. Trash, man. Literally no chance. You could be the last, last team in the world. In fact, yeah. he's not winning. You ever watched the show? Uh, what's the show about the fans football? Uh, the the league? league. Oh yeah, he he's our taco boy. Oh, he's definitely taco. Yeah. <laughs> There's literally no <laughs> doubt about it. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's definitely taco. Both in his team and just who he is. <laughs> Poor Ace. Shout man. out Ace. <laughs> Shout out our boy. Yeah, we love him. Um, yeah, I think that's it for uh, some of the hobby stuff. So we could hop in. Uh, it's a good transition to some uh, to some sports updates. So the Vikings uh, and the Saints cut their rookie quarterbacks, Kellen Mond and then Ian Book. Um, they gone. Yeah, they're gone. I think Mond is – did he go to the Bra- the Browns or was that Browns Book? Browns picked him up. Nope, Brown, uh, Mond got picked up by the Browns. What about Book? Book, I don't know. I don't, oh, you know, Book got picked up too, I think. Oh, really? I thought so. Hold on. I thought I read this morning that he did. Yeah, yeah, the Eagles claimed him. Mm. Interesting. Okay. So Maddie's team get a Yeah. Now they have a quarterback. Uh, yeah. Good yeah, no kidding. Yeah, when they're you know, who's uh-huh. she? Yeah. <laughs> uh the rookie running back for the commanders, Brian Robinson, he was shot multiple times in an attempted uh robbery. Insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think there's in been any legs, updates. Too. Yeah, in his legs. Uh so obviously the dude was trying to not kill him. How nice of him. So he went for his legs. Um, But uh, yeah, that's pretty shitty uh, for sure because he was definitely slated to be the lead back there. Um, So hopefully he he can get back, uh, you know, sooner rather than later. Um, Apple increases its sports sports broadcasting push, uh, looking to hire 60-plus people to compete with the Amazon streaming. Uh, You know, Amazon has like that Thursday night football stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they might have some other stuff too. I don't, I don't slip in my mind. Um, they got a couple big announcers, like a couple big sports stars as announcers and stuff too. Listen, so. if Apple wants to compete, they need to go get Payton and Eli because that's the yeah. best broadcast ever. Yeah, uh, it really is. I, I literally don't care what anyone says. If you don't watch that, you're seriously missing out on top tier content because there's nothing <laughs> like watching the game with Payton and Eli. I'll tell you what, that's a lot of forehead in one broadcast. It's definitely a lot of forehead, but it's it's totally worth it. Um, yeah, that's true. So, uh, Max Verstappen flies from the back of the pack <laughs> to win the Belgian Grand Prix. Uh, literally insane. The, the kid's just unreal. Um, yeah. Ferrari is so stupid. Uh, and then Hamilton, yeah, he was out early in a wreck with Fernando Alonso. He was literally in the air. Yeah, it was pretty that was insane. A wild, that's a wild picture. Yeah, it's it is. It's a pretty cool picture though. You can't lie. He was not it's happy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, which one's the what's the next one? Is it are they in the Netherlands? I think they're in the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is in the Netherlands. Uh, yep. It's gonna be a sea of orange. Uh, that's gonna be pretty Ooh. crazy. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, Lu- that. yeah Lewis is still uh, looking for his uh, his first W. So, um, and yeah. I'm yeah. as as resident Luham hater. <laughs> I didn't hate that he that he DNF, but oh man. He was wearing an insane outfit. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I did. It was insane. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, my, uh, my, my guy, Carlos Alcaraz, so we talked about the net pro drop last week. Um, he did win his first round of the U.S. Open. He um, 
his guy did retire in the third set. He was up 2-0, but I I don't know. I didn't see what the official injury was, but it legitimately looked like the guy was playing towards Achilles, which is like super unfortunate. Um, the guy was putting up a really good fight, um, but I think Alcaraz would have taken it home anyway. And uh, he's yeah. currently playing right now. Uh, Dominant. Yeah, 6-2 in the first, and he's up 5-1 right now. Um, so he's uh, making some stupid mistakes right now, but he's uh, – He's just so dominant. The kid is yeah. just – he's 19, he literally just turned 19, and he's got some of the most insane power, speed, hand speed um, of anyone in the game right now. So it, he's going to put it all together. He's going to win a lot of majors. Obviously, we, you know, we got these cards. Mine mine just came in today, just the auto and the, um, and the uh, jersey card that I got, like the – kind of like the National Treasures looking thing. Um, my auto has about – 65 35 centering so shout out to Nepro. um <laughs> it's all good it is what it is um i mean it was expensive for sure um but yeah. there's not a lot yeah. of them though nope we're still a pretty cool card uh who knows if he gets to the finals maybe we'll go back and grab another one because the there's still like 30 percent of the autos left um at least the out of 100 out of 250 um the out of 500 sold out pretty quick which was good to see that was that was what um i was kind of you know pushing to everyone to at least get uh they were cheap enough to where i thought they were um they were a safe buy uh at the uh, price right um, yeah so yeah looking forward to getting those grading with a couple people hitting hit me up hey what are you doing with these what are you doing so um yeah we'll see uh and then lebron states he wants to play into his 40 so he could play with his son um well thank you yeah I think I saw something that he said, like, legitimately he would, like, ruin a team to just play with his son. So, um, yeah. yeah, a little selfish for sure. I guess he, Third best player of all time. Yeah, I guess he feels like he earned it. Wait, who's two? Kobe. You think Kobe? I mean, I'd like to hear an argument on why LeBron's better than Kobe. I mean. I'll give you the the, the Jordan, you know, the Jordan argument I heard, which is funny as hell. And it also applies to Kobe. You go, you go to a party six times, and you leave with the prettiest girl at the party all six times. Or you go to a party like 12 times, but you only leave with the prettiest girl only three out of those 12. Who's the man? <laughs> Jesus. You know what I mean? That's Think fair. of it like that. That's fair. Uh, I don't know. They're both great players. Regardless. Food for thought. Yeah. Uh, Baker Mayfield ready for week one against the, uh, the Browns. He said, quote, I'm going to fuck him up. Yeah. Uh, Baker's crazy. Um, Baker, freak. He don't, at this point, he does not give a shit at all. Yeah. Uh, I think he's going to wreck it. I think Baker's going to so. have a good year. <laughs> <laughs> he might be the most owned quarterback in uh, fantasy football, in like daily fantasy, um, yeah. of the year this year, just week one. That People he's love good. the revenge game. Yeah, he's so. cheap. And I, I mean, I don't know, dude. He's number one overall pick for a reason. He's yeah. he's a decent quarterback. He had he had a rough go the last couple of years in in Cleveland, but I don't know. I I like him this year. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, we're doing a GFNF weekly. I'm giving you a little insight into my lineup, and and uh-huh. no big deal. I have the um the veteran badge on my uh, DraftKings account, so be scared. Um, Ooh, yeah. Uh, I am stacking Baker Mayfield and Christian McCaffrey week one. So. Yeah. That will yep. be that will be the start of my lineup. I'm giving you a little head start. Yeah, well, uh, I drafted Christian McCaffrey in the GFNF league, so I'm ready to dominate both. <laughs> I don't play week one, so that's fine. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you'll probably catch me on a bye week with everyone. <laughs> my luck. Forty uh, ers signed Jimmy G to a one year, seven million, all guaranteed contract with a no trade clause and uh, playing bonuses that could be worth up to sixteen uh, million. Um, if Trey Lance gets hurt. <laughs> You think it's that, or you think they're a little concerned with his play so far in preseason because it hasn't been all that stellar? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge Trey Lance guy. Um, I like for you know what we do the card side of stuff. I like his prices being high, but yeah, you know, I I'm not sold on us. I'm not sold on any of the quarterbacks from last year. I'm not either. I honestly think Mac Jones is our best hope just because of his situation. Um, people yeah. like winners. And honestly, I think his his play last year was mediocre, in my opinion. And yeah. just the fact that they were able to win games, uh, 
The only problem with that, I agree. I completely agree with you. The only problem is I don't see them winning. I mean, he's got he's got Josh Allen in his just yeah, yeah I, in a in a ridiculously tough AFC now. I mean, look at all look yeah. at all the quarterbacks in the AFC now. Yeah, it should definitely be more competitive than it has in the past twenty years for them. Um, yeah. So, but we'll see. We'll see. I mean, for our sake, I hope. Um, I hope. I hope one of them plays well. So. Yeah. Um, right. The MLBPA sends out union cards to minor league players. Uh, the first step in the process to unionize the minor leagues. Um, so that's a step in the right direction. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think it's not a lot of the, you know, a lot of the people high up the, the commissioner and everyone else are really against that. And shocker. of course they are. Cause they pay these guys like shit. And yeah. Yeah. I, I, I don't mind it. I'm not a huge union guy, but when it comes to that kind of stuff and taking care of those guys that ride a bus and make 1400 bucks every two weeks, you yeah. know, yep. Take, totally. care, take care of them. Uh, yeah. And then let's hop into the rookie update. You want to rip through the uh, slash lines? Yeah, it's looking pretty bleak this way. Wander's still out, uh, which is not helping any of the 2022 baseball product. What, who? Thank God Julio's playing well. Um, but Julio took a little bit of a dip, down about six to eight points across the board. He's 266 batting average, uh, 472 slugging, 798 OBP. Uh, Bobby Witt's the only green this week. He's up. He's up to 251, which is only a point, but um, he gained almost 10 or 12 points on the slugging, 442, and he's at 734. So he's gained 10 points on his OPS. Uh, Adley Rutschman down. He's kind of just starting to follow the trend that Torkelson did before he started riding him. Uh, He's dropping like 10 points every week. So he's down to 250 batting average, 436 slugging uh, with a 794. Uh, OPS. So those OPS is still only four off J Rod, which is not bad. And then Michael Harris has been just consistently really good, earning that money. Two eighty eight batting average, three forty one on the OBP, four forty eight on the slugging, and seven eighty OPS. So Michael Harris steadily doing solid. Bobby Witt gaining some momentum. J Rod staying pretty much stagnant. Wander hurt and Adley not looking great. Yeah, and then. Uh... Gunnar Henderson, uh, he just came up. He cranked a home run. Um, he's got insane hair. Yeah, he sure does. Uh, insane hair. Um, but yeah, that's another thing cool I totally forgot. You saying that name made me, you know, think of Bowman and stuff. That's another reason that you know that these the MLPA with these guys down there, they should be making some money off there. I mean, the MLB is making money off their name. To, you know, the companies are making money off these kids' names. Yeah, hundred percent. Yep, hundred percent. Um, yeah, sweet. Yeah, looking forward. There's just a lot of good young players, um, coming up. So. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, and then let's hop into some high rollers, some high dollar sales, and some massive pulls. Um, 2016 Bowman Chrome Juan Soto Gold Auto BGS 95 with a 10 auto, uh, forty thousand. Um. 52 Mantle PSA 1.5. Uh, that pulled in a nice 45,000. Um, what about if you tried to cross that one over and get a 9.5 in SGC? <laughs> then you would have a serious come up. Uh, they have 12 million. Uh, 07, 08 Upper Deck Exquisite KD RPA out of 99. PSA 10 for 100,000. Um, wow. Seems like his market cooled down a little bit, but he's still an excellent player. Yep. Um, 2022 National Treasures Luca uh, Logo Man 101, 125,000. Insane, insane First sale. Fourth year card. Yeah. Wow. Um, and then one of the best products ever made, uh, 1516 The Cup McDavid RPA at a 99 PSA 10 for 200,000. Uh, wow. Pretty crazy. Um, yeah. You want to take the uh, massive pulls? Yeah. So, uh, actually, we just found out today, it either happened last night or this morning, Vortex Sports Cards pulled the 2020 Prism Justin Herbert Black Finite that's been missing for a year. So, that's the 101 uh, Herbert non-auto. Um, the Mac Jones, if you guys remember we talked about, uh, did 100K. And then I think we heard that the guy flipped it for 2 or 150 The uh, Oh, no, no, he graded it, right? He graded it and came back. Um, so this is the equivalent of that card. So I don't know what, what is that card? going? A 200? lot. 
Two fifty no, more than that. I think three fifty four thousand four hundred thousand. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, it's big. Wow. That's big time card. That's well, insane. The uh, some other big ones. Uh, yeah, the 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 one I put on the bottom here. I'll, I'll go through first because I didn't realize that was what we talked about. But twenty twenty one select football Aaron Rodgers black shield patch auto one hundred one uh, upside down auto. It was pulled by backyard. They also pulled the 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 select. Trevor Lawrence shield black is a one one non auto. Um, Daddy Rips pulled the 2021 select Trevor Lawrence green auto out of five, which is huge. A lot of Trevor Lawrence this week. Uh, BC Poles pulled another Trevor Lawrence tie dye auto out of 25 RPA, which is those those tie dye auto RPAs are just so nasty. They're so cool looking. Um, and then the guys over at Real Breaks, uh, 2022 Diamond Icons, one of my favorite products. Can't afford to rip any, but uh, they pulled the Mike Trout Red Patch Auto out of five uh, with a big Angels logo. So super cool there. A lot of big ones. Yeah, for sure. Which one are you taking out of all those price uh, irrelevant? Like if it just didn't matter, I, like which one was worth the most? Like if I wasn't going to get money for it and I had like just. Yeah, you just said it. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't have to go with the trout. Yeah, same. Yeah, that patch, that Angels patch is so cool on that thing. Yeah, I'm with um, you. If I'm going money, obviously I'm taking that Herbert. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean even the Her- the Herbert's even a, like, a pretty sick looking card. So yeah, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, but give me that, give me that trouty. Yep. Uh, cool. And then uh, upcoming drops retail front, obviously select football and Topps Chrome baseball should be pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see. Uh, what kind of market there is for that, uh, especially once we get a checklist here. Um, so we should also see, uh, uh, what's it called? Ben Baller uh, tops Chrome as well pretty oh, yeah. soon um, for Montgomery Club members. So pretty much a brick last year. Uh, should have some value uh, this year. So yeah. um, It'll have Wander in it. It'll also have, it'll yeah. have J-Rod and Bobby Witt short prints. Yep. Yep. Sweet stuff. Um, I think other than that, that's pretty much it. You got anything else? No, that's it. Sweet. Um, cool. Yeah, that's uh, that's it for this week, guys. Um, as always, uh, you can hop on the wait list for GFNF at gfnf.io or hit us up on Instagram, Twitter at gfnf underscore underscore. Um, Jake on Twitter at Wrigley Elite SC and myself at Nappy Boy 13 um, Other than that, guys, we will see you guys next week. Thanks. Thanks.